Hey everybody, it's Mark Saltzman here for SYNC. What better place than beautiful Waikiki, Hawaii to talk to you about the world's first waterproof pocket video camera. Before we get to that, take a look at this view from my uh, balcony in my hotel room. Unbelievable. Right on the ocean here. And there's the uh, pool down there if you can catch that without me dropping the laptop. So, uh, you know, obviously this is a place where I'm going to be doing some swimming, whether it's in the pool or in the ocean. Might even try a little surfing. We'll see how that goes. But this is where a product like this is ideal. This is uh, one of those trendy pocket-sized camcorders, you know, started by the Flip family, uh, now owned by Cisco. Many others are on the bandwagon now, like Sony and Samsung and Kodak, of course. So the Play Sport, which was unveiled at the uh, 2010 Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas back in January, is a really neat one because not only does it shoot 1080p video or you can scale it down if you want 720p at 70 at 60 frames per second or even VGA quality DVD quality but it is fully waterproof down to uh, 10 meters or three feet sorry three meters or 10 feet and uh, it works quite well so it's got this really durable rubberized coating here and uh, all the sections are um, locked off so for example here's HDMI uh, you have an HDMI mini slot and you get the cable with it so you can connect it right to your TV if you want as well as USB. Then on the other side it flips open and that's where you've got your removable battery and your um, SD cards. So it supports SD and SDHC high capacity. Here's a 4 gig card. One of the downsides is that you don't get any memory with it. There's very limited um, internal memory that you get with the unit so you're gonna to have to buy one of those inexpensive SD memory cards to store all that video it also by the way takes five megapixel stills um, and uh, the quality looks pretty good there's built-in image stabilization much like the Kodak ZI8 line so it's got image stabilization video stills but not a lot of zoom like any of these pocket cams one of the downsides is that you're we're not talking about crazy zoom as you would have with a traditional flash or hard drive based pocket cam but the uh, this waterproof model is great got a little uh, strap here that you can uh, you know attach to your uh, bathing suit or to your wrist so you don't have to think about it it's ideal for cottage life if you're into water skiing boating you know fishing you if you get sand on it at the beach so you wash it off in this sink you can actually dunk it in water, it's fine, again, down to three meters. So ideal for snorkeling rather than scuba diving because it's not pressurized. But a great little product with really good looking video. Uh, I mentioned the one downside is that it doesn't come with any memory. That's kind of uh, the trend these days. Um, the Sony models also require memory. But uh, the other thing that it does not have that the flips do is that there is no flip out USB arm. It actually is a separate cable that you get in the box and it is not built into the unit itself which is a little you know too bad because that's one of the convenience features is that you plug it into your PC or Mac and then you upload it right to the internet or save it and edit it but uh, this you do need that separate USB cable but it is included at, at least anyhow I really like this Kodak PlaySport camera it's 160 at your uh, favorite electronics uh, store or other retailers like Canadian Tire and uh, you can learn more about it at Kodak.ca but if you like having some uh, fun in the sun then uh, something like this is the way to go thanks for watching sync I'm Mark cheers